now what is matrix matrix is nothing but it's another form of a table itself now at this point the question comes when matrix is also a table what is the use of learning it separately when we have already learned about table in previous video and at this point it becomes important where we understand the limitation of a table for that let's come to this particular sheet and over here if you see this is the table which i have created on two labels right one is product the other one is city now if you want to find food and beverages sold for a particular city then you need to find look for a food and beverages then look for a particular city for example yangon and then look for that particular number all right and otherwise if you if you are looking for some other item then you need to go all the way down and then look for that or you may be expanding this a lot but remember while you are creating a dashboard you may not always have the luxury to expand the table a lot so in that situation it will become very difficult to show maximum amount of the values on one view right so in that case if you can have something two dimensional something like this isn't it going to be very useful yeah i heard you it's it is looking let me show you so here if you see here it says home and lifestyle right and home and lifestyle products sold in yangon city are 371 so it is pretty simple you see just a cross tab a cross table right cross tabulate you can also say cross tab table you can also say this right so this is nothing but a matrix table so Precisely, a matrix table is something which can work in more than one dimension, in two dimension. You can have hierarchies also created into that. And to make it more clear to you, matrix is nothing much different from a pivot table. If you are someone who has worked in Excel, so the pivot table which you used to create in Excel, this is exactly what the matrix is now let's just jump to this particular sheet and try to create a matrix table so for that you need to go on the visualization pane choose the matrix option and from the data tab you need to choose the columns which you want to use now thing which you should notice over here is here you have three boxes one is rows columns and the values in the rows boxes you want, you can put all those columns which you want to see on the row label so for us those were product line so i'm going to take product line from here and put it over here now we got the product line right over here created okay next thing which comes is city where those things were sold that we want to see as column heading so for that i'm going to take city from here and put it into the column box next thing is quantity which we want to see as value right so take quantity from here and put it into the values as soon as you do that this is this is the kind of structure you are going to get now you see how simple is it to read the things all right so if you if you are someone who is creating this and if you are getting the font size too small not as this so i recommend I highly recommend you go into the view tab and into the themes from here go down and choose customize current theme and here choose text and over here you specify the font size i have kept it 15 you can keep it as per your comfort level now you see over here once you do this kind of font size setting that will be applicable for all the objects available into this particular file so keep that into the mind so now we got this thing created next important feature of this matrix is you can have the hierarchies also created so what hierarchy means is for example you see this is electronic accessories sold in yangon and the quantity is 322 now if you want to see how many male population and the female population purchase this right electronic accessories if you want to have a breakdown for this thing how can you check that or maybe you also have the payment method over here so if you want to check what through what payment method what are the payment methods were used to sell the electronic accessories and in what quantity so for that what i'm going to do is take payment method and put in a row box just below the product line now you see this plus icon over here if i just click on this plus icon this is what i get now i can easily understand electronic accessories sold in yangon through cash were 85 and through e-wallet it was 116 so this is how you can have the breakdown if you want to break down further or uh, if you want to create further hierarchy you can again choose another column from here and put that below the payment 
in the row box itself now if you want to you can further expand this and you can see so electronic accessories sold through cash to the female in Yangon city what 37 isn't it simple yes so this is how you can do now if you want to control this drill down or collapse or etc so you can use these buttons also just hover on this and you will see the button name for example drill up so you just click this it is closed right then again you click this it is further closed if you want to expand this just click this first you need to select this item and then click on this it will be expanded then further click on this select this and click on this it will be expanded okay or maybe what you can do is you can come back over here collapse everything and just click this particular button everything will be expanded in the same fashion uh, the the way we created hierarchy over here at the row level you can also create that at the column level so for that purpose what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this gender from the row level and put it into the column level over here now what you see is electronic is broken down basis on the payment method now you don't see anything on the column level so for that in on drill down box you need to choose other option which is columns and then you expand this all and this is what you are going to see now you see this let me make it let, let, let me do a little bit of adjustment on this i'm just going to do some bit of adjustment on this yes so this is done right so you see everything is expanded so this is how you can uh, you can create a matrix table and advance it as much as you want now let's let's look at the next thing how can we do the formatting over here so i'm going to go into over here and paste the same sort of let me copy this visuals from here i'm going to select this visual and control c come back on this sheet and control v now over here if I want to do the formatting what all that I need to do is select this table go on visuals and from here you can apply whatever the things that you want so here I'm going to try this the way we applied the formatting in table same way you can do over here so here I want I'm just going to apply some uh, templates over here let's say sparse right let's see how is that going to this is how it looks apparently it's not looking much better so what we can do is I can just come back over here and choose the default similarly you have others also for example minimal you can choose that and this is how you are going to see it right so this is uh, the same way you can apply multiple formattings from here headers row headers column headers etc everything I highly encourage you to go through them and try to do it in case of any problem put that into the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you on that now let me take you to the conditional formatting directly so here you see the values in the values box you have one column which is sum of quantity right click on that and go on conditional formatting from there I choose background color now in the format style I am going to choose rules so what is the rule that I want to apply I want to highlight all those values which are where the quantity is greater than 50 right so I'm just going to put over here 50 greater than or equals to 50 now I also need to provide the uh, upper limit so for that I'm going to choose 1000 you can put any number right and the color which I want to use is red now you see you say okay and you are going to have those values highlighted over here if you want to change the font color also same way you need to right click on this go in conditional formatting and choose font color apply the same rules over here from format style choose rules and over here let's say 50 and over here i'm just going to say 1000 and over here i'm going to choose the font color as white let me just say it there is one problem which I missed over here again let me go over here in the instead of percent I need to choose number okay same thing I would require to do in font also that was a small mistake which I just made okay here I have already chosen number that's fantastic but it is not showing that way let me go back over here come into the font color oops that is not for font color here font color and over here numbers and now you do this so here exactly you see 
the conditional formatting is applied so this is it in this particular video just in case if you get any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out and if you want me to make it more advanced on the matrix do let me know i'll make another video thank you once again wish you very